So what he said was, I know, I hear you guys. I hear that everybody's tired of these meaningless Spider-Man sequels that don't have, you know, Spider-Man in them that are just excuses to turn these villain stories into standalone box office cash grabs. But please come see my meaningless box office cash grab. Because that amount is called by quote. That's my rate. So the next film I'm offered, they have to pay that same amount. Even if I do a bad job, they got to give me that other two bill. Do you guys think Craven the Hunter is going to be successful at the box office? Or do you think it's going to be a massive fail like Madam Web? Because that is a question everybody wants to know. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Especially because there's multiple reshoots, got pushed back multiple times by the director, which I I kind of, I don't know how I feel about it. Because I feel like the director made the choice to push the movie back multiple times because initially it was going to compete with Deadpool and Wolverine, which mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. guys, come on. If you're going to compete with Deadpool and Wolverine, the movie was never going to do well to begin with. But is it better that it's in December competing with what, Wicked, Gladiator 2? Moana, is, but is it technically competing with those? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't think anybody who's like on the fence of like, I might go see Moana, I might go see Wicked. <laughs> uh, no, I'll go see Craven. Yeah. Like, I don't think it, I think it's its own thing. But at the same time, if you're deciding where to spend your money, isn't it still competing? Because it's like, if there's that many movies out at one time, you have to obviously make a choice. Sophie's choice, huh? Oof. I don't think anybody's going to go see Craven. So, so yeah. Yeah. So I expect that it probably won't do well because it could be a lot of fun, but definitely not what fans of that character probably want. And I feel like that's kind of the overarching issue, you guys. I feel like no matter what, Sony Marvel has made a, bad, a lot of bad choices when it comes to like Spider-Man's villains because they continue to make movies without Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And for Kraven, they clearly stated Spider-Man's not going to be in there at all. So they're not even baiting you with like they did with Venom to try and be like, oh, maybe Spider-Man might show up. They're like, no, he's not going to be there at all. But I feel awful for the director because he came out and made a statement because he knew a lot of people were unhappy with everything that's been going on with all of the movies, Madam Web, uh, Morbius, and then obviously now with Venom. And Venom was only technically successful because of like the overseas numbers. Mm -hmm. So he preemptively was like, hey, I understand a lot of people are unhappy with the villain arcs that have been going on with the Spider-Man movies. But I really hope you guys will just give the movie a chance because it's yeah. amazing. You sure about that? So what he said was, I know, I hear you guys. I hear that everybody's tired of these meaningless Spider-Man sequels that don't have, you know, Spider-Man in them that are just excuses to turn these villain stories into standalone box office cash grabs. But please come see my meaningless box office cash grab. Yeah, pretty like, much. Because he was like, and this is how he was trying to bait people. He was like, I worked really, really hard to make an entertaining yeah. and exciting movie for you guys. And if you go see this movie, then it will open up the avenue for me to make another movie where Spider-Man might be. Come see my shit because it'll <laughs> let me make more shit. And maybe the next shit I make will include yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> will include boy. the character you guys actually want to see oh. in theaters. Fool me once. Shame on Shame on you. It fool me, we can't get fooled again. So if you come and support this movie, you then might get a movie where the character you actually want to see will be. This is what we talk about all the time. It's like they know what they need to deliver to make people happy, but they really, really like the idea of being able to slow roll you and get yes. two films out of it. So he's admitting he knew that people don't want to see a villain story without Spider-Man, but he did it anyway. Oh, my God. He admitted it. Well, he did it anyway. I don't think it was really up to him. He basically said. No, he's like, saying he's aware that people yeah. are tired of these things. He went into Sony. Sony's like, hey, we want you to make this. And he didn't stand up and say, hey, Sony, without people want yeah. to see a link to Spider-Man. Yep. Without it, these things are meaningless. He just took the money and he did it. Yes. Because that amount is called by quote. That's my rate. So the next film I'm offered, they have to pay that same amount. Even if I do a bad job, they got to give me that other two bill. And he's like, I'm going to bait people by saying, I understand you don't want to watch another villain movie without the main character who is Spider-Man. Yeah. But 
I just need to let you guys know, please, please go see my movie so I can maybe get another one where Spider-Man might be, <laughs> which is just fucking foolish. Um, I don't think it's going to change anyone's minds. I think anyone who's interested in Craven to begin with will probably go see it. Um, I think there are some people who are probably interested in the fact that it's R-rated and that it does look very like gory and action-packed. So that might make some people want to go see it. Mm. But at the same time, it's during Christmas. Like, is that the type of movie you want to go see during Christmas? Um, people will claim that Die Hard is a okay. Christmas movie. Now, so... now I'm not going to lie. I claim Die Hard is yeah. a Christmas movie. Because you're a Philistine. Um, <laughs> Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It's not. Fuck you know that, what? I actually dude. saw the perfect fucking meme to explain why it's not. Is Spider-Man a Thanksgiving movie? No. <laughs> but why? They have Thanksgiving dinner in it. I don't care. Yeah. And till the, till it's the centered around. Die it's centered Hard around. Is a Christmas movie. Bro. Uh, it's during Christmas. Okay. Guess what? Christmas has a smaller part in Die Hard than Thanksgiving has in Tobey Maguire's no, Spider-Man. Fuck that. Thank you, Desmond Diaz. There's Die a... Hard is a Christmas movie. Bro. Yeah, I, like forever. I don't care what you say. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I won't change my mind on anything, regardless of the facts that are set out before me. I'm dug in, and I'll never change. People are going to use the excuse of, well, I watch it during Christmas. Well, go check your internet history. Okay. <laughs> Does that make all that crap on the hub is a Christmas movie? What? Yeah. Well, I watched it during Christmas. Is yeah. Christmas happening in the damn movie, in the thing? Bro. So, oh my gosh, Caden. You. You're about to like, pop open a whole kettle of, uh, no, no, don't even, <laughs> don't even. Okay, no, we're not going there. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where you were yeah. just about to go with that. That's, we're, we're yeah. not.